Hey everybody, here's yet another part system. It's quite unique in a way, and for the fact that it's really small. This is a former bare bone system. It's called a Qubit, powered by Soltec. This one's from the Computer Works store. It was $15. It's got an aluminum case. I believe it's aluminum. It's quite light. I think it's brushed aluminum. Even the um, drive bays. Those might be plastic, I'm not sure. Yeah, I think those are plastic. Make look aluminum. It's got just a basic C ROM drive in it. Power button, reset button. Used to have either a floppy drive or a card reader right there, I believe. Used to have um, optic out, microphone in, and a universal line in or line out port. Two USB ports and a FireWire port. Let's have a look at the back. There's power supply. Video card, two serial ports, PS2 keyboard and mouse, Ethernet, USB ports, firewire port, and probably I would say 7.1 channel audio, maybe 5.1 channel, not really sure. Just by looking at the ports. But anyways, um, let's go have a look inside. Okay, now here's a look inside, and here's where things get pretty interesting. Look at this video card. For some reason or another, somebody decided to take the fan off the video card heatsink. Now, why would somebody do this? Yeah, the fan may have been rattling, but you should have fixed it, not removed it. So, it's questionable whether this video card is any good or not. Anyways, moving on. We have a um, proprietary sized motherboard. This may, however, be similar to like Mini ITX. Now, these, um, these bare bone systems, especially these small ones, tend to be proprietary in a way. It's an AMD socket 754 or 939 based setup. It has two DDR DIMM slots. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see inside because there's so much stuff in the way. It's hard to get a good view inside this thing. It's got good cooling. It's got this nice fan on the side that sucks air out. It's definitely a good design. It allows you to put up to two hard drives. Got a um, bay in the bottom, right there, and a bay up top. You can use either a um, floppy drive or card reader there, or a hard drive. You know, we're trying to get you a look at this board. It's got a stick of OCZ memory, DDR memory. I believe it's DDR. Yeah, I believe it's DDR. And of course, okay, it's a DVD ROM drive. I was looking for the DVD logo on this um, faceplate and I didn't see it. Let's look again. I don't see it there. Apparently, the faceplate got changed out. So, okay, so we have a DVD ROM drive in this system. Now, I tried to sing at the store, it didn't power on. So, it could be a bad power supply, it could be a bad motherboard. Now what interests me here is power supply looks like it's brand new. So I'm looking looking at the um, date code on this power supply and it's 2008. And the system's older than that so apparently a power supply has been replaced before. And it's a uh, Logasys. One of those you know cheaper in power supplies you can get from Newegg. 
the new egg specials as one person caught them. Now to be honest, just from looking through the vent, this power supply may have potential. I mean it's got um, half decent sized transformers for probably a 250 watt power supply or 300 watt power supply. Anyways, I'll, I'll have a more in-depth view of this thing later on, of the power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook up a different power supply, or try to do that for that matter, and see if I can get this thing to start up. Okay, I got a power supply hooked up. Let's see if this thing works or not. Does absolutely nothing. So what we can do is we can try to verify that all the needed connections are there. And it appears that they are. And does not turn on. So, let's try the paperclip method. Fans turn on. The motherboard does not do a thing, so it appears to be dead. A dead motherboard. So at least we have a nice system for parts. See, that's the only downside with systems like this. They're proprietary, you can't do much with them. Especially when the motherboard fails. You know, the most critical component of the system. Anyways, there's your look at the motherboard. It appears that possibly a mini ITX could take its place, so I don't really know for sure. It's questionable whether or not the video card is good. I could slap a fan on it and see if I could get it to work. Well, I could test it before actually um, putting the fan on it, but um. Anyways, got to um, see a gig of memory, a DVD-ROM drive, and a power supply to play with. I think that's worth fifteen dollars, and some cables and other things. Before I end the video, I figured I'd have to go ahead and um, show you guys the specifications on this thing. Anyways, there's the specs on the power supply. Um, let me get you a better focus. Kind of awkward angle, but anyways. Anyways, pause view specs. Power supply is rated for like 350 watts, but we know that's not really true. But anyways, here's a look at the memory that come out of it. It's a mighty heavy, um, heavy stick of RAM too. That heat sink is heavy. Lots of thumbprints on it too. Those aren't all mine. OCZ. DDR400 memory. It's got the timings on there. Look at the other side. I right, fear let's go ahead and see what kind of processor we have under that heat sink. We have to get, get the power supply out of the way first to get some room. Okay, got the power supply and bolted out of the way. Now we got a nice look at the motherboard. Alright, let's go and pull these cables out. Kinda hard to do this one handed. Alrighty. Now let's have a look at that CPU. See if this is like at 754 or 939.
Yeah, video card's still in the way. Again, hard to do things with one hand. There's your stock AMD cooler. Let's get a paper towel. And let's wipe it down and see what we have. It's socket 754. And this is a Athlon 64. 3500, oh no, 3000. Yes, Athlon 64, 3000 plus. Probably a new castle. Anyways, that's the CPU. And final look at the motherboard. I'll scrap it for all those good caps. Got some Panasonic's on there, some Chemicons. <laughs> Got a nice slot cooler there. I could probably use that in a TV box if I could mount it some way. Anyways, any questions or comments? Feel free to ask, and thanks for watching.